Over the past week of Black Hat USA and DEF CON 2024, thousands of hackers, researchers, and security professionals gathered in Las Vegas to showcase their latest discoveries, hacks, and vulnerabilities. They revealed things that could possibly compromise your personal space. You are no longer safe, even at your home. What they reveal will shock you. In this video, we will explore the key events that happened at Black Hat USA and DEF CON 2024. Let's kick things off with CrowdStrike, a titan in the industry that found itself on the receiving end of the infamous Epic Fail Award at DEF CON's Pony Awards. Worldwide businesses relying on CrowdStrike's cutting-edge security solutions suddenly found their systems grinding to a halt. The irony wasn't lost on anyone. A company dedicated to protecting others from cyber threats inadvertently became the source of a major disruption. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. CrowdStrike's response to this fiasco was remarkable. In a move that surprised many, CrowdStrike's president, Michael Santonis, showed up in person at DEF CON to accept the epic fail trophy. This act of humility and accountability didn't go unnoticed by the notoriously critical hacker community. Now, hackers are advancing a bit too close to your home. As revealed at DEF CON 2024, your vacuum cleaners are now a big threat to your own safety. Researchers at DEF CON revealed that Ecovac's home vacuum and lawnmower robots could be hacked and could possibly spy on you. These seemingly innocuous household helpers were found to have a critical vulnerability that could turn them into covered surveillance devices. Here's how it works. An attacker within Bluetooth range could hijack the robot, gaining full control over its onboard microphone and camera. Once compromised, these robots could be accessed remotely over the internet, allowing malicious actors to spy on unsuspecting homeowners from anywhere in the world. But it's not all doom and gloom. In a moment of levity amidst this serious revelation, the researchers shared a screenshot taken from a hacked Ecovacs robot. A candid shot of a dog caught unawares by its mechanical housemate turned spy. Moving on to a tale of relentless pursuit and cyber sleuthing. Let's dive into the extraordinary story of security researcher Don DiMaggio and his quest to unmask the infamous Lockbit ransomware kingpin. This is a high-stakes game of cat and mouse that spans years and crosses international borders. DiMaggio's journey began with a simple lead, an anonymous tip revealing an email address allegedly used by the Lockbit ringleader, known only as Lockbit Sub. Armed with this fragment of information and driven by a deep-seated desire to bring justice to the gang's victims, Demagyu went on a painstaking process of open-source intelligence gathering. The pursuit of Logbit itself became Demagyu's obsession. He meticulously pieced together fragments of information, following digital breadcrumbs across the dark web. It was a game of patience and persistence, with Demagyu often feeling like he was chasing a ghost, but his efforts weren't in vain. But finally, Demagyu managed to identify Logbit itself's real-world identity before federal agents publicly named him. The hacker was unmasked as Dmitry Koroshev, a Russian national. At DEF CON, Demagyu took to the stage to share his story for the first time. The room was packed, hanging on every word as he recounted the twists and turns of his investigation. But the revelations at DEF CON didn't stop there. Let's turn our attention to a hack that sounds like it's straight out of a James Bond movie. Renowned hacker Sammy Kamkar unveiled a new technique that could make even the most paranoid among us look over their shoulders. Kamkar has developed a laser microphone capable of decoding the subtle acoustic differences produced by tapping different keys on a computer keyboard. The technique is as ingenious as it's unsettling. By aiming an invisible laser through a nearby window and onto a laptop, an attacker can potentially intercept every word you type, from sensitive emails to private messages and passwords. The implications of this technology are staggering. It challenges our very notion of privacy in the digital age. Even if your computer is air-gapped, completely disconnected from any network, it's not safe from this type of acoustic eavesdropping. All an attacker needs is line of sight to your device, and your secrets could be laid bare. But before you start lining your windows with tinfoil, it's worth noting that this technique, while oppressive, has its limitations. It requires precise aiming and calibration. Environmental factors like background noise can interfere with the readings. Next up is something that might hit a little closer to home for many of us, the vulnerabilities in AI-powered assistants. Microsoft's Copilot, an AI chatbot companion, was in the crosshairs at Black Hat USA 2024. 
Security researcher Michael Bargery from Zenity revealed how easy it is to manipulate Copilot using a technique called prompt injection. Imagine asking your trusted AI assistant for help, only to have it unknowingly feed you malicious information. That's exactly what Bargery demonstrated. In one particularly alarming example, he showed how an attacker could trick Copilot into returning a bank account number controlled by the attacker, potentially leading unsuspecting users to transfer money to the wrong place. Bargery's research revealed that through clever manipulation of Copilot's prompts, attackers could potentially extract sensitive information, engage in AI-driven social engineering, and even generate convincing phishing emails. Not everything on Black Hat USA was related to hacking. One guy named Vangelis Tykus, a security researcher who took up multiple ransomware gangs and warned, Stikas set out on a mission to find vulnerabilities in the public-facing infrastructure of ransomware operations, specifically targeting their extortion leak sites. Ransomware gangs typically use these sites to pressure victims into paying by threatening to release stolen data. But Stikas turned the tables on the attackers. In his Black Hat presentation, Stikas revealed how he identified critical flaws in the web infrastructure of three major ransomware groups, Malux, Black Hat, and Everest. Exploiting these vulnerabilities, he managed to obtain decryption keys for two companies that had fallen victim to these gangs. Stikas also managed to notify four other potential victims before the ransomware could be deployed, effectively saving six companies from potentially crippling ransoms. Now, let's pivot to a topic that's been on everyone's minds lately, the intersection of artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. At this year's Black Hat and DEF CON, AI took center stage, with researchers and experts exploring both its potential benefits and its inherent risks. One of the most intriguing events was the AI village at DEF CON, where a team of hackers was tasked with a unique challenge, exploring how to detect and report AI flaws. The goal was to develop practical frameworks for identifying and reporting vulnerabilities in AI systems. As these systems become more integrated into our daily lives and critical infrastructure, ensuring their security becomes paramount. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, had a significant presence at DEF CON this year. They presented information on securing generative AI and even hosted the AI Cyber Challenge semi-final competition. This event tested hacker skills in securing critical infrastructure in a hypothetical futuristic city. However, as we're developing ways to secure AI, we're also uncovering new vulnerabilities. Researchers from cloud security company Wiz delivered a chilling presentation on the vulnerabilities of AI as a service platforms. They demonstrated how they were able to hack into Hugging Face and replicate two leading generative AI hosting services using what they called malicious models. These researchers showed how they could move laterally within these platforms, gaining backdoor access to private AI models. From there, they could access proprietary weights, user prompts, and datasets, essentially the crown jewels of any AI systems. But it gets worse. They demonstrated how this access could be leveraged to launch supply chain attacks from the AI as a service platform itself. But let's not forget about the more tangible physical aspects of cybersecurity. At DEF CON, researchers Dennis Geese and Berlin from Leviathan Security Group presented their findings on the vulnerabilities of smart lockers and cabinets. Their research focused on devices manufactured by Digilock and Schulte Schlagbaum AG, companies that have been in the physical security industry for decades. In a world where shared office spaces and co-working environments are becoming increasingly common, these smart lockers are often used to store sensitive equipment and information. Employees trust these devices to keep their belongings safe, often storing laptops, phones, and other devices containing confidential data. Geese and Brillen's research revealed alarming vulnerabilities in these supposedly secure devices. They demonstrated both physical and side channel attacks, targeting locks that accept standard PINs and RFID. One key takeaway from their presentation was the danger of reusing pins across different devices. Many people use the same pin for their locker as they do for their phone or laptop, devices that might be stored inside that very locker. This creates a dangerous security loophole that could potentially compromise not just physical belongings, but also digital assets. Just like a vacuum cleaner, there is another vulnerability that hits close to home for many of us. Researchers from NCC Group dropped a bombshell at Black Hat 
when they revealed that Sonos speakers, a popular choice for smart home audio systems, could be compromised to spy on their owners. The exploit works by taking advantage of a flaw in the WPA2 handshake encryption protocol. Once an attacker gains access, they can remotely control the kernel of the device. In their demonstration, the researchers showed how they could turn a Sonos device into a wiretap, effectively creating an always-on microphone in your home. They even went as far as jailbreaking a Sonos Era 100 smart speaker, showcasing the extent of control an attacker could gain. This revelation is particularly unsettling because it affects a device that many of us have invited into our homes without a second thought. Which hack from this year's conferences shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.